Guys, welcome back. It is Racer X. Today I want to talk a little bit about the 2019 Scat Pack that we have, and more specifically the tires that come on the back of this car. Uh, many of you know that I have talked extensively about the fact that Dodge put 245s on the back of a car that has a ton of torque and makes nearly 500 horsepower. Definitely an interesting decision from them. So we'll run a little experiment today, and that should be a lot of fun. So also guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down here on the corner, and we are off. We got the thousand horsepower helmet. Oh So I am in the 2019 Scat Pack Challenger right now. And if I'm being completely honest about my feelings with this car, I absolutely love the car. Um, the car is fantastic, makes a ton of torque. It is a ton of fun to drive on the street. Many of you guys have seen a lot of my videos where I've talked about just how fun this car is to drive. But Dodge, I feel like, did us a big disservice by sticking 245 with tires on the back of this car, almost to the point where I feel like the car is is dangerous um, this car can really get away from you so I thought I would make uh, a little video about the speed at which I can still spin the stock tires in this car and uh, I'll show you a little bit about how I'm gonna set the car up you can replicate this but I do want to make mention that if you are not experienced with driving uh, a, a powerful car you own a scat pack um, this could be a little bit dangerous because obviously when you're when you're spinning, if you're not used to it, uh, you know you could obviously if you don't have enough room, you could go into a ditch. Any number of things could happen. So um, please exercise caution if you're trying to replicate this, or simply uh, take the information that I'm going to give you and just kind of go with it. But um, at the end of the day, please be safe out there. And uh, if you are not um, an experienced driver, please do not try and duplicate this. So the way I feel about this car is actually kind of the same way I feel about the Hellcat. Truth is, is Dodge really never should have stuck a 275 on a Hellcat. The dang thing makes over 700 horsepower and makes an absolute gob of torque. And uh, for those of you that do own Hellcats out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can pretty much blow the tires off at any point. And uh, yes, I realize these are muscle car guys. Um, you know, it, it's just... At the end of the day, you know, you you got to put more meat underneath the butt end of these things just to make them safe. I mean, it's just a ton of power. Can't tell you how many guys have crashed their cars or put them in a ditch or whatever that just simply don't know what they're doing, don't know what to feel for, and know the limits of the car. And uh, boy, I wish Dodge would put some 315s or 335s underneath the butt end of these Hellcats and uh, just to really make things safe and also make the uh, cars perform a little bit better. It makes a big difference. Well, there are my drive mode settings, guys. Transmission and track. You got your paddle shifters on, which will make a little bit of a difference. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the sun out of your face there. But um, the traction is going to be in sport. We're going to turn traction completely off here momentarily. And, of course, steering makes no difference because we're going to have uh, this car moving in a straight line, hopefully, and uh, see how this little experiment goes. So a couple quick items of note, if you're planning on trying to replicate this little <laughs> experiment, um, sometimes it just kind of depends on the surface you're on, it depends on if it's wet outside. Always make sure you're, you turn your traction control off, obviously if you're trying to spin the tires. And then also, um, if you're gonna be really revving the car out to um, you know, 4,000, 5,000 RPMs like what I'm doing, you need to make sure that you uh, keep the car over in automatic. Use your paddle shifters, but don't stick it over there in manual because you're just gonna slam off the rev limiter. You have almost no time to shift. Let the car shift for you. So a couple quick things, <laughs> little tips. Now, I am actually going to try to spin the tires. So for this experiment, guys, yes, I'm trying to spin the tires, and um, I'm gonna do whatever I can to spin the tires. I'm gonna move up in five mile an hour increments. I'll show you my drive mode setup. 
I'm gonna keep the paddle shifters on so I can kind of get the RPM set right where I feel like it's got the best chance of spinning these tires. And we'll see what mile an hour we can get to before the car actually grabs the road. I'm on just a normal street, I'm not on the track. And uh, it should be a fun little experiment to see what this thing can really do in terms of spinning the tires and why <laughs> this thing can actually be borderline dangerous. This should be a fun little experiment. So first off, I'm actually gonna try five miles an hour and uh, I'm gonna paddle shift down into first gear. So in five miles an hour, obviously we already know what's gonna happen here, but um, I am in um, five miles an hour. I've got the car in uh, the drive modes we selected over in drive, first gear, here we go. Yes, sir, all sorts of spin. We knew that was gonna happen. So we'll go ahead and jump up to, uh, to 10 mile an hour and we'll see what happens there. Okay, I'm now regulating my speed once again. I am in first gear. I'm going 10 miles an hour. Let's see what happens. A lot of spin. As I sort of figured, 10 mile an hour, absolutely no match for this car. Blew the tires off quite handily. So now we're gonna downshift back into one. This time we're gonna roll 15 miles an hour. Keep in mind, normal street here, guys. There's 14. <laughs> There's 15 miles an hour. We're still in first gear, right about 2,700 RPM. Here we go. Wow, easy spin. <laughs> this thing, oh, it just makes such easy work of this. All right, so now let's jump up to 20 mile an hour. Things might start to get a little more interesting uh, moving forward. Next up is gonna be 20 mile an hour. We can still stay in first gear for 20 mile an hour, right about 3,600 RPM, 20 miles an hour, here we go. Easy spin. So 20 mile an hour, we're still in first gear. So next we're at 25 miles an hour. So we'll see if this thing can still spin them at 25. I don't know if we can stay in first gear for this, guys. I think we may actually have to be in second gear. We're gonna find out at 25 mile an hour what we can do here. There's 25 mile an hour, that's 3,000 RPM. I feel like this is still doable. Let's see what happens here. Wait, slow it. Here we go. Yep, she spun them really easy. So 25 mile an hour in second gear, no problem whatsoever. Let's try and step it up to 30 miles an hour. Obviously that's gonna be a second gear pull. Let's see what happens with this. So once again, we're gonna switch it down. There it is, downshift. There's 30 right there. Yep, spun that too. No problem spinning at 30 mile an hour in second gear. So uh, I guess we're gonna have to step it up to 35 mile an hour and see how, uh, see how she does. All right, so next up is uh, 35 miles an hour. Go ahead and get just to the right speed here. It's probably gonna be leaving in second gear. Let me see where we get to here. It's gonna be right at 4,000 RPM. It's making a lot of RPM here in second gear. There it is, there's 35, a little over 4,000 RPM. Yep, she still spins them pretty easy at 40 miles an hour in second gear. The next one I think I'm probably gonna to have to shift up into third. So uh, anyway, let's see how we do at 40 miles an hour in third gear if we can still spin the tires in this car. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're in third, downshift, there's third. Here comes 40 mile an hour right there. And here we go. Oh, she hooked pretty well that time. So 40 might be the magic number. So I'm actually going to uh, see what I can do to blow the tires off at 40. I'm gonna, uh, I'm actually going to give it another shot here. Definitely have to wait for the road to straighten out here, guys. <laughs> 
do not want to be doing this on a curvy road trust me make sure it's nice and straight you keep that wheel nice and straight the minute you start to feel the car spin or get a little bit wonky on you please get out of it and just don't be crazy um, here comes the road it's going to straighten out for me right here third gear once again 40 miles an hour right there and she hooked she's trying to break loose but she actually hooked okay right there and I don't think the car will comfortably do 40 mile an hour in second gear but I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to uh, to go second gear to see if I can blow the tires off come into a nice little straight downhill road right here perfect spot nobody around so we should be in good shape so here we go there's third okay 35 mile an hour take it up there's 40 mile an hour making a lot of rpm i did break them loose in second so it takes second gear to break them loose but it will break loose at um at 40 miles an hour so I've actually been able to spin the tires on the scat pack at 40 miles an hour. Keep in mind, once again, I am trying to do this, but it just proves to you, <laughs> boy, this thing makes a lot of torque. And uh, just because it's not a Hellcat doesn't mean it can't be dangerous. The car makes a lot of power. So the one last thing I want to do is try once again at 45 miles an hour, I'm going to downshift into third gear. And third gear at 45 mile an hour is almost exactly 3,500 RPM. Let me see if I can break them loose. 45, here we go. Oh, it was close, but I think it hooked. Boy, this car moves out. Um, it felt like it was trying to break the tires loose at 45, but it actually did a pretty good job of sticking the power that time so I think we may have found the limit uh, at which this car can spin its tires I may try this one more time just to see if I can spin them at 45 um, the car really hits hard at 45 that is a really solid rpm it's once again 3500 rpm is right where it sits it's um, it's way too much rpm for second gear it just doesn't quite break them loose, but it feels like it's trying. Maybe on a bad surface it would, but I think 45 mile an hour is the magic number at which uh, the Scat Pack no longer breaks its tires loose. So let's go ahead and give it one more try. Okay, third gear, 45 miles an hour. It's trying really hard to break the tires loose, but it doesn't break them loose. So. Okay, that answers that question. So, my findings tell me that the Scat Pack is capable of spinning its tires even at 40 miles an hour if you're running the stock Eagle RSA2s. And uh, that is a little bit of a sobering thought when you talk about drivers that, one, don't have a lot of experience. And keep in mind, this is going in a completely straight line. Um, going around a corner it's a completely different story yes you can easily get loose at 40 45 mile an hour going around a corner especially if you're giving it full power but even in a straight line this car is more than capable of breaking the tires loose at 40 miles an hour that is impressive for a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter motor so um, I guess a couple things couple takeaways one this car could be very dangerous in the wrong hands if you don't know what you're doing um, especially with the stock tires on here this thing could really um, um, get you in trouble and uh, the other thing is you know what go out and get yourself a set of drag radials or at least put a set of like 305s on the back of your scat pack if you uh, are tooling around and you like to feel the performance of the car um, that should be mod number one on a scat pack guys just like it is on a Hellcat go get yourself uh, a set of really solid street tires or a set of drag radials Nittos or Mickey Thompson's whatever your flavor is but um, like I said, Dodge kind of made these cars a little bit dangerous, giving it this much power, that much hard and fast torque, and putting that little 245 tire on the back. It's been a fun little experiment. Um, once again, if you guys are going to try and replicate it, please be really careful. And uh, you know what? It's been fun. So until next time, Racer X.